I'm getting ready to start a new project. Sometimes I wonder, here's a deer. Um, and here's what it's gonna look like. A high gloss finish with a bronzer and epoxy horns. You can really see the shine on them. Probably not. Anyway, when it's done, it'll look something like that. I might try a little bit of a different color. Maybe add a little copper into it. This is what it starts at. Okay, putting on the finishing touches here. This is a metallic iron bronze. Uh, it looks very black. I wasn't quite prepared for the black. Um, but, oh well. I have done in the past a uh, bronze bronze. Uh, you might be able to even see it in this video. It's sitting up there on the shelf. More of a brown bronze, and I tried to copper, tried to get it to patina with a copper solution that I bought, and it did not work <laughs> at all. So, anyway. I couldn't get the patina to work. I did, however, get the the bronze looks decent. It's just a lighter color than I was looking for. Um, and this is <laughs> a darker color than I was looking for. Uh, it is gray, but it looks very black. Anyway, this is the next step. Got it uh, painted, a couple coats. I will put a polyurethane on it when I am done and um, to seal it off and then I got to pull up polyurethane the horns next which takes a while when they're dried out like this it will actually they will actually absorb the poly so there you go next step painting and putting a metallic bronze in here and going from there all right, so all right, I'm continuing my project here, which is refinishing this deer head, and I am now doing my second coat. Actually, this would be partially a third coat with a clear gloss polyurethane. The horns are uh, about a year old and they've dried out quite a bit, so they tend to absorb the poly uh, the first couple coats, um, so that can be somewhat of a challenge. I tend to wrap or wipe it, but this horn has a lot of knobs, and especially down here at the base that make it difficult to use, your, use a rag. So I'm just using this brush and helps me get down into all the crevices much better. This is like I said, second or third coat. I use a satin finish on the head itself. And um, that was after the I think I mentioned in my previous video, this or previous part, that this was a bronze, supposed to be a gray bronze, and it's turned out to be really black. Um, I did not expect that. Uh, but that's how things go when you do these projects, especially when you're using a metal paint. Um, the other one I've done, I did a smaller one. Before, I was looking for really a dark bronze and tried to use a copper patina. Turned out to look almost just basically brown and my patina wouldn't work. So there's always a learning curve in everything you do, I guess. That's kind of why I do these things. I like to have projects keep me busy, keep me occupied. But I'm not doing something else. And this is a way of preserving... Um, Something like this. Oh, I do not want to do that. That you want to keep and, and keep in uh, good shape. 
Uh, this horn has uh, some cracking in it. Uh, the steer had already been through rut and broke off quite a few times. Um, and so he has some damage and the poly will strengthen that quite a bit. Um, at least that's the hope. Probably do three to four coats. This is usually the coat where things really start to shine, start to look good. And um, then I kind of like touch ups. Some areas just don't shine like I want them to. These are faded. Probably will bring some of the color back in, which is nice. But they'll never be the, the brown that they were. I have mixed it with varnish. Try to get some of that color back in them, and that works marginally well. Um, but anyway, so the bronzer that I used on the actual skull uh, came out to be a high gloss. I prefer to have kind of a satin finish, as I said. On the uh, skull itself, which is what this is. Um, kind of like that brush. I call it like a brush look. Like if you took a piece of metal and you actually brushed it uh, after you high polished it or you polished it, I like that look. This is turning out to be a pretty high gloss. Well, so here we are. Sorry about the sump pump water and the furnace, but uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. This is uh, completely done. It's a bronze gray with a metallic in it, kind of hard to notice, and then it was satin finished with poly. The horns are <clears throat> um, high gloss poly. And the entire head has been done. Now it should be in pretty good shape to last for a very long time. The wood shouldn't fade and it should be uh, easy to display. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, my pages, on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Forward forever, backward never. Thank you.